Let's get everything up on the board. So, we have a shot of Houseman at the cabaret. We've got Aldo and Lola testifying he was there the night of the murder. That's solid, but so what? You were there too. Well, I haven't been paying money to the cabaret. These payments... I'm certain Carmen was paid to sell out her own people. The cabaret was always a watering hole for those seeking refuge from the government. So, what's his motive? The mole was there when he issued the orders back in 74. The list is proof of the casualties caused by the raids. And now, with the country trying to become a democracy, it would end his political career. Yeah, if we can prove any of the orders came from him. Let's put things on the wall. See what we're missing. Was Houseman involved in murdering the mole? Aldo saw Houseman leave the cabaret on the night of the murder. So far we have one witness placing him in the area on the night of the murder. Aldo really came through for us. Who is Houseman connected to? Cabaret changed when Houseman showed up. That doesn't make sense. Okay, never mind. Well, they're connected to Lola. Also connected to Eusebio. He's in with the church. How would that be a problem for a politician? Well, it could mean, ah, uh, forget it. They all are anyway. Mm, should I choose a different one? Um, visited the cabaret. That's not... Uh, that fits here. Photo evidence of Houseman visiting the cabaret. This is a great piece to back up the payments we found. Yeah, that's better. What's wrong with Carmen? Well, Carmen's receiving payments from Houseman. From what we've seen, it's highly likely Carmen betrayed her contacts. Do you think that's how Houseman got the targets for the raids? Probably. Carmen is well connected among the opponents of the old regime. How could she do that? Maybe she drank herself senseless to drown out the guilt. That's all we know for now. I'm going down to the repair shop, see if I can find a way inside. The original list. Wonder if it was longer than that single page. We're running out of options and time. We're just gonna have to give it our all. I'll contact you once I'm inside. I have a feeling that original list is more of a novella. Diego. Diego? Oh. Mm. It's the Polythea. Shit. Do you think they saw me sneak in? No. Looks like they're patrolling. Hold on. I think Diego is up to something. Remember to take a photo. Is that... Houseman? What 
What are you two talking about? Mel, listen. I think Houseman is closer to the Polythea than we thought. Just tell me when it's safe to run back. Try to make it across the plaza to the church. You can get inside from there. Guide them to safety. Go to the tree. No way, they'll see me. Do I have to wait or is there somewhere else I can go? I think I just have to wait. Till Diego isn't just right there. Go to the tree. No way. Yeah. Uh. Do you think I could call the uh, phone booth? I'd just get a busy signal, wouldn't I? Go to the. Okay. Good timing that time. No way, they'll see me. Oh, I guess Diego would, yeah. Wow, Diego can't see Melinda? Amazing. See, you're good. Just had to wait a second. The wall at the cafe. You can approach the church now. No way. They'll see me. Not good now. You can approach. Hey, I've reached the church. Nobody here, it seems. I'll be right up. Can't open the door this time. I can't pre-open it. What does that mean? Got a bad feeling about that. Any chance I could go get my gun? Safe and I'm so Diego, you were uh, certainly pick interesting times to come by. Jorge, let's cut the bullshit. You know why I'm here. Where's your friend? Young woman. Asks around a lot. Carries a bag. Like that one, actually. Where is she? Hmm. Lie or just straight up say I won't tell you? 
Thought you knew me better than to assume I'd sell her out. You know what happens to people who protect wanted suspects, Jorge. What happened? People are trading order for chaos. That's what's happening. They forget what brought us here. And now they want to throw it all away. I saw you talking to that politician. With Franco gone and the elections on the horizon after over 40 years, we need someone who can deal with change. Houseman doesn't want to change anything. He's part of the same old routine. And look where it took us! People can't be trusted to govern themselves. And the artists? Poets? Why repress all these people? They lead the masses into decadence. We did what had to be done, for the good of Spain. Please, old friend, you're picking the wrong side. Did he send you? I'm just inching ever closer towards the gun. <laughs> Let's just say you've been in our sights for some time now. You should hear him out. Not sure I want to talk to the man who killed a former colleague. I see. Well... I want that gun! I'm the one who shot the traitor. What? You shot a fellow officer and you- He was going to put all that dirt on us! Dirt! People were killed! And we are responsible. Some of them were barely adults. Don't lecture me on our work. They were homosexuals, deviants, morally corrupt. People should be free to live life however they want. When the clergy can't pray it away, the baton is there to do the job. This is insanity! It has to end. What was that? I need to get my gun. Yes! What do you think you're doing? Come back out. We're not done. Meh. Yeah. I'm running out of time. Call your friend. You really should have changed the frequencies. Shit. Tell her to come over. And no tricks. So what's your plan? Shoot both of us? Don't be ridiculous. We can discuss your case tomorrow night. After the election. As for her, you know what needs to happen. One more body to hide. What's your insurance? <laughs> With Houseman in office, I will climb the ranks in the Polythia, and I... How can you be so foolish? With Houseman in office, your part is finished. All he needs is a fall guy for the murders, and the whole thing gets buried. You don't know anything! We already have an agreement. You have nothing. An empty promise. No proof. Only blood on your hands. That's enough! Shut up! Melinda, you there? Where is she? What happened after my accident? Accident? That's what you're telling yourself now? Of course we went after the punks who attacked you in the harbor. It's about respect. So you killed them too? Who cares? I, I, we, we roughed them up. We made them pay for what they did to you. Call her again. You're running out of time. Hey, Melinda. Come back. How can you be fine with all this? Murdering innocence! Who do you think you are? Look at yourself. You've got soft. You're a broken man. I won't 
take lectures from someone as callous as you. While the church is on our side, I know we're in the right. They trust us to keep the country on a path of tradition and morals. That's how you keep the people united. More excuses. All I see is madmen drunk on power. Don't kid yourself. This is the way it has to be. Now call her. Step back. Oh. Ugh. Never thought I'd see you turn on us like this. Traitorous scum. Stick him up. Melinda, tie him down. You're done, asshole. How does he look? He's out. Should give us enough breathing room to finish up. I've got an hour to get this to the paper. Let's go. Help me get these sorted. What sparked the events that led to the murder of the mole? Houseman sent someone else to... No. Diego took revenge on... Or his attackers? No. Houseman is running for office. I mean, that's kind of it. Houseman was afraid of bad publicity. That's it. No? Or he took part in the raid? No. Diego admitted to killing the mole. It must be the running for office. Houseman wanted to stay in power. And so he ran for office. In a way, it's that simple. Why was the mole killed? Houseman is afraid of bad publicity. Houseman realized that if the public knew about his past, he would never get elected. So he arranged to cover up his past. How was the mole killed? Houseman sent someone else to kill the mole, Diego. Houseman knew that it was too risky to kill the mole himself. So he went looking for someone in the policia who would be willing to play the role of an assassin. Who murdered the mole? I can't believe Diego is the one who did it. Both him and Houseman are responsible, and they will both pay the price. I think that's it. Okay, I'm off. Do you know someone you can call about this guy? Someone you can trust? I have an old friend who's a doctor. He can take care of Diego until tomorrow. Once you blow the lid on this thing, we'll see who in the Polithea we can trust. Sounds good. See you later. Good luck. Finally, it's over. Hey, old man, come on. <laughs> I'm not that old. Someday, maybe. Anything interesting going on? Some old acquaintances are making an appearance. Nothing as exciting as last week, though. <laughs> I sure hope not. Let's have a look. Oh, I gotta find our binoculars first. I 
wonder how everyone is doing. No need for pictures anymore. The waiter seems a bit fidgety. Yeah. I wonder what's going on with those two. Looks like they're leaving. Now that the cabaret is closing. I'm so relieved it turned out well for them. I'm really glad Lola's okay. Carmen's celebrating the closing of the cabaret. Houseman's money has run dry. Selling out her patrons probably wasn't what she had in mind. Must feel good to be done with it. I mean, I, I don't feel happy for them. Yay, they're done with it. Okay, they still did a lot of incredibly horrible stuff that undoubtedly led to the deaths of many people. Selling information on the... the left-leaning people that hung out at the cabaret. Fuck Carmen. reading the newspaper. Nothing special. How'd the election go? Mechanics are back! Ah, oh, the mechanics are back. Thank God. I thought they'd end up gone as well. Looks like they read your article. Well, I didn't specifically mention them. There are plenty of other bad people who might be looking for them. They helped. And nobody else needs to know their names. It won't be as bad as before. Eusebio seems relieved. Bugs me that we will never know the extent of his involvement. At least he's back to helping Aldo. That's something. Let's hope he does a proper job of it in the future. She's still alone. You can call her any time, you know. Yeah. Maybe I will. I think that was all of them. I guess that's it. Yeah, I guess so. Listen, I know we had some rough patches. Well, I'd say we had some decent ones, too. Yeah, I guess we did. Look, and now that we're done, you don't have to hang around. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You saying I bought that easel for nothing? Wait, what? Didn't think I'd just leave without offering a thank you gift, did you? I'll come by and check on your progress. 
better have a nice painting ready for me when Christmas comes around. Well, that's... Uh... Thank you, Mel. Let's finish with some thoughts about the flower collectors. This was an occasionally frustrating, but mostly just really nice game. It was interesting and pretty, and I was really interested in the characters, especially Lola and Melinda. The voice acting was really great, too. It felt deeply satisfying to be able to uncover corruption by the police and be able to build that into a case and take it to the papers and have it actually do something and actually be effective and actually remove people from power and put people in jail as it should because god in recent times that just feels like a rare treat doesn't it people in positions of power going to jail for doing horrible things nice to see once in a while so that has been the flower collectors thank you for watching